Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print diamond border star pattern. So what exactly is this diamond border star pattern? Let me show you directly. So this is how guys a diamond border star pattern will look like this. Okay, this is a diamond shape, but only has a border. How to write a Java program to print this kind of pattern? So for that, what we are going to do here is instead of printing this directly, we'll be first writing the logic for printing this pattern first. Okay, here only border is there, but here all the stars are available. It's completely filled up kind of thing. And in this one also guys, first we'll break this into two parts. We'll write the logic for this part first. After that, we'll write the logic for this part. So let's start with this part guys. Our end goal is this one, but let's start with this part. So you see here in the first row, there is one star, second row, three stars, third row, five stars, fourth row, seven stars, and fifth row, nine stars. So it, it is like that. And first thing that we need to notice from this pattern is how many rows? How many rows are there in this pattern? One, two, three, four, five, five rows, total five rows. Then how many spaces in each and every row? In the first row, how many spaces? In the first row, there are one, two, three, four spaces. In the second row, there is one less space that is one, two, three. So in the third row, one and two, two spaces. And fourth row, only one space. Fifth row, zero spaces, as you can see here. And what about stars? Coming to stars, in the first row, there is one star. Second row, there are three stars. Third row, five. Fourth row, seven. And fifth row, nine stars. So this is the basic requirements, guys. Using these requirements, let's write the Java logic to print this kind of pattern first. So we'll start with the for loop. Here, how many rows? Five rows. So this for loop should iterate how many times? Five times. Int i is equal to one i less than or equal to phi, i plus plus. Like this, we have to write the for loop, which will iterate five times. If five rows are here, we have to write the for loop, which will iterate five times. Inside this for loop, we'll write the logic for printing the spaces first by creating an inner for loop, okay? Inside this for loop, an inner for loop will create for printing the spaces, guys. So this kind of pattern of spaces we have to print. So how to do that? For int j is equal to one, j less than or equal to phi minus i j plus plus like this we can write the logic guys so and uh, inside this uh, for loop we'll print out we have to use normal print statement instead of ln and here we have to print the space case okay we just need to print the space so in the first iteration when i is one this inner for loop will iterate how many times phi minus one so starting from one till five minus one, that is four. So one to four, four times four spaces will be printed guys. In the first iteration, that is first row, four spaces will be printed, that's correct, right? We need to print four spaces in the first row. When I becomes two, when I in the second iteration, when I plus plus will happen and I becomes two, here five minus two, that is three, starting from one till three. That means three spaces will be printed in the second row. Like that, in the third iteration, only two spaces, fourth iteration, one space, fifth iteration, completely zero spaces. You see, in the fifth iteration, when i becomes five, five minus five will become zero. And okay, one, one less than or equal to zero will not happen. So no space will be printed in the fifth iteration. Like that, guys, we have written the for loop, which is going to print the spaces according to the row number. Fine. Now, next thing what we have to do is we need to print the stars. Okay, we need to write the logic for printing the stars. For this also, we have to create a for loop, guys. For printing the stars also, we have to create a for loop. So, but let's look at this uh, thing. In the first row, there is one star. Second row, three stars. Third row, five stars. Fourth row, seven stars. And fifth row, nine stars. For this, what we can do is, we can say int i is equal to one or k is equal to one. k less than or equal to two into i minus one. Then k plus plus. Like this, we have to write, guys. k is equal to one k less than or equal to 2 int i minus 1 k plus plus. Fine. So here inside this uh, for loop system dot out dot uh, print, we have to print the stars. Okay, we have to simply print the star. In the first iteration when i is 1, one star will be printed. In the second iteration when i is 2, why in the first iteration one star will be printed here? 2 into 
when i is 1 it will be 2 into 1 minus 1 that is uh, 2 ones are 2 minus 1 is 1 so it will be 1 so only one iteration will happen only one star will be printed when i is 1 in the second row when i becomes 2 it will be 2 into 2 that is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so starting from 1 till 3 1 2 3 so three stars will be printed in the second row when i becomes 3 when i becomes 3 so here 2 into 3 that is 6 6 minus 1 5 okay 2 into 3 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 starting from 1 till 5 that means five stars will be printed in the third row you see 1 3 5 it's going perfectly fine what about uh, when i becomes 4 when i becomes 4 it will be like 2 4 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so 7 stars correct then when i becomes 5 it will be 2 5 the 10 10 minus 1 is 9 so starting from 1 till 9 that is total 9 stars will be printed so this logic is perfectly fine guys okay so one more thing guys after printing the space and stars in the particular row let's say in this row we have printed four stars sorry four spaces followed by a star after that in order to print the next set of spaces and stars we have to move to the new line right for every row we have to move to the new line otherwise everything will be printed in a single line we should print one star in the four spaces and one star in the first row uh, three stars and uh, uh, three spaces and three stars in the second row then two spaces and five stars in the third row like that we have to go right a a everything should be in a new row for that reason guys after printing spaces and stars we just need to write this system dot out dot print ln statement okay this will take you to the new line so now let's run this code and see whether uh, this logic whatever we have written so far is printing this pattern or not okay as part of the first step this should be printed guys let's run this you see the required pattern got printed guys now what we can do next is uh, we'll create we'll customize this guys okay we can customize this uh, so we don't uh, we don't want uh, the between stars to be printed okay once this pattern got printed what i want to do next is uh, i want to print this upper portion okay i want to get this kind of output instead of this kind of output i want to get this kind of output after this is after the logic is written for this kind of pattern we can easily customize to get this kind of output so how to do that for that guys uh, simple so here if you see the between stars should go away that means border should border stars should be there these border stars and uh, these border stars should be there remaining everything should go away for that guys when k is equal to 1 this star got printed again when k is equal to 1 this star got printed the third row also when k is equal to 1 this star got printed when k is equal to 1 in the fourth row also this star got printed when k is equal to 1 this star got printed so here i will say if k double equal to 1 then print these stars okay so left side border stars will be covered here using this k is equal to 1 if i say k is equal to 1 then only print the stars then this uh, stars will be printed k is equal to 1 stars will be printed what about the last other other side of the stars other edge of the stars this is like 3 here 5 here 7 yeah 1 3 5 7 9 how to get that for that guys we have to say or k is equal to simply copy paste this one guys okay this is the edge this is the one this is the left side edge this is the right side edge copy this copy this and paste it here that's it guys so here only the left border stars and right border stars will be printed now if the condition doesn't match either this one uh, both of these things then if any of this condition is met star will be printed if any of this condition is met the star will be printed but if none of the conditions met then we have to print space case so instead of stars we have to print we have to use normal print statement and uh, we have to print a space so that instead of space instead of stars that means all the in between stars they will go away guys okay all these things will be go away in between stars will be going going away. only border stars will remain because we are printing spaces if they are not edges, we are simply printing spaces. That's simple logic is run this. You see, we got the upper part, upper portion of the required output. Upper portion of the required output is ready. Now, next thing, next thing is before getting this output, okay, before getting this output, we'll write the logic for printing this portion. First half is done, guys. First half is done. Now let's focus on the second half. And that too, for getting the before going this second half, we'll get this out this kind of output first. Total, how many rows are there, guys? In the second part, how many rows are there? One, two, three, total four rows. Rows is equal to four. What about spaces? 
the first row only one space is there coming to the second row there are two spaces third row one two three spaces fourth row four spaces are there like this case okay what about stars the first row there are seven stars okay seven stars second row five stars third row three stars uh, last row there is fourth row one star like this case okay based on this requirements we'll write the logic now so we'll write the logic here this for the first uh, part now let's write the logic for the second part for inch i is equal to 4 i greater than or equal to 1 i minus minus why i'm writing like this this for loop will iterate how many times four times okay four three two one rows kind of thing since there are four rows this for loop should iterate how many times four times starting from four to one like that now next thing next thing is we need to print out the spaces right we have to print out the spaces here guys we can do one more thing that is uh, instead of writing like this we can write like this also int i is equal to one i less than or equal to four i plus plus is also fine okay this is also fine so here first thing is we need to print the spaces for that we'll create a for loop this for loop is going to print the spaces how if i is equal to one only one space should be printed here i is equal to i mean second row two spaces third row three spaces fourth row four spaces so simple we can write it in j is equal to one j less than or equal to i that's it okay j less than or equal to i j plus plus this will get the required output guys system dot out dot print it should not be printed then we'll be printing the space in case of the first row one space in case of the second row two space in case of the third row when i becomes three three spaces will be printed when i becomes four j less than or equal to i that means one two four four spaces like that guys okay like that this is very simple logic now we have to print the stars how to print the stars for that we'll write another for loop for int k is equal to how many stars initially seven stars should come here for that i will do one thing i will say two into okay two into okay there is a problem here there is a problem okay so k is equal to one int k is equal to one k less than or equal to here there is a problem guys so that's the reason we have to write four less than or equal to one i minus minus this will be the best way and here this for loop what we can do is starting from four right so here j is equal to one j less than or equal to four minus or j less than or equal to here there is a problem guys let's see starting from i is equal to four i greater than or equal to one i minus minus here j is equal to one j less than or equal to five minus i like this we can write if you want okay j is equal to one j less than or equal to five minus i j plus plus so what will happen here is j will be one five minus i is five minus four that is one so one time space will be printed in the second iteration when i becomes three five minus three is okay five minus three is two right so one and two two spaces will be printed in the second row when i becomes uh, two in the third iteration five minus two three so three spaces when i becomes one in the last iteration five minus four uh, five minus one four so one to four spaces will be printed so this is fine and here we can say k is equal to one k less than or equal to i into two minus one this is what guys we want actually okay i into two minus one or two into i minus one whatever you write two into i minus one is also fine okay both are same then k plus plus so this will work in a different way let me explain system dot out dot print ln instead of print ln we have to write normal print here we have to print the star so here in the first row when i is four one space will be printed and how many stars should be printed two into one uh, two into four eight eight minus one seven so seven stars will be printed like that guys we have to customize the logic there is no other way 
So in the second row, when i becomes three, two three is a six minus one, five stars will be printed. When i becomes uh, two, the third iteration, two to the four, four minus one is three. When i becomes one in the last iteration, two ones are two minus one, that is one. Only one star will be printed. This is what we need, right? Seven five three one. Spaces should be one two three four like that okay we have to customize the logic accordingly and after printing this space and star in every row we have to move to the new row for that reason we will write print ln statement now let's run this code guys let's see what will be the output uh, the uh, the below pattern also should come okay the upper part should be like this and below part should be like this for now let's see how what kind of output we'll get it should be like that only whatever i explained you see the upper part will be like this and lower part will be like this but guys we need to remove these spaces right the spaces we have to remove and the stars we have to remove in between stars need to be removed and in place of the stars we should get the spaces then everything will be perfect so further guys what we can do here is here we can put a condition like if these are all the borders guys okay this is k is equal to 1 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 this is k is equal to 2 into i minus 1 this is also k is equal to 2 into i minus 1 2 into i minus 1 2 into i minus 1 so if k is equal to 1 Or k is equal to two into k double equal to two into i minus one. In both the cases, in both the cases, star will be printed. Else, space should be printed. Okay. Else, standard. Okay. Here, print. Just make sure, guys. Everywhere you have to use print only. Okay. Print element should not be used. Otherwise, you will get a different output. Make sure. Instead of all the for loops, you should be using the print statements only. And here you have to print the space for that. It will give the space like this. Now save this, guys. Run this code. You should get the required final output. Okay. This output should be like this, guys. This kind of output we are going to get now because we have printed the required stars, required spaces. Every everything is perfectly done so far. So run this. Should get the required final output. That is nothing but. Diamond border star pattern we got. So hope guys you understood how to write a Java program to print diamond border star pattern. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.